woman is dead after an accident at a mine in northern Kentucky. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live on the scene with what he's learned since 5.30. Tom? Well, Carol, where I am is at the Sterling Materials Company, 10 miles north of Warsaw on the Boone Gallatin County line. The company employees take limestone from underground and crush it for the construction industry. The Gallatin County Sheriff held a news conference just a few minutes ago and basically gave us the name of the victim. She is 37-year-old Angela Common, a single mother from Carrollton, Kentucky. And here's what the sheriff say happened here around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Common was driving a new articulated vehicle about 800 to 900 feet underground at the time. The, vehicle, the company just got this particular vehicle. It may have been the first time she was using it, according to the sheriff. Around 3 p.m., she lost control, fell out of the vehicle. The vehicle rolled over and toppled onto her. Safety agencies are already beginning their investigations as to what did or did not happen here. Back live in at uh, Sterling Materials, you can understand, uh, Carol, that the workers, co-workers are very upset here right now at hearing of this tragedy. Company spokesperson John Walters, we contacted him in Lexington, asked for a comment from the company. Other than to confirm the fatality, he said the company would have a statement uh, tomorrow on Wednesday. Would have nothing to say further tonight. All right, and that's Tom McKee reporting. Nine News anchor Brendan Keith and the I-Team have been looking into reports of safety violations at the Verona Limestone Mine. So, Brendan, what did you come up with, you and Hagit? Yes, uh, Clyde, we looked at all the documents and we discovered Sterling Materials has a mixed record on safety with a cave-in accident in the late 1990s followed by a major safety award from the federal government in 2006, then a series of smaller accidents. Take a look at the scene from the air back in 1998 when a cave-in trapped two workers 550 feet into the mine shaft. That was 250 feet below the surface. The men were inspecting a newly excavated shaft when a slab of limestone fell on top of them. Both survived their serious injuries. That was less than six months after the mine opened. In 1999, a 22-year-old worker died at the Sterling Materials Mine after his clothes got tangled up in a conveyor, bait, a conveyor belt tail pulley. The company was cited because that pulley was unguarded, but the citation was lifted when a guard was installed. The I-team then investigated back in 2004 when Verona residents complained the blasting had destroyed their property values and polluted their air. The very next year, in 2005, Sterling Materials operated for more than 92,000 man hours without a lost time accident. That earned the top Sentinels of Safety Award the following year from the U.S. Department of Labor, Mine Safety and Health Administration. That federal agency reports three injury accidents since the award. In 2009, a worker failed to wear a safety harness and he slipped on frosty ground. In 2010, a grinding wheel exploded and the pieces cut a worker in his thigh. And in 2011, a rock fell and cut a worker's hand. Clyde? All right, Brendan, thanks. We broke this story this afternoon on WCPO.com. Be sure to stay with Nine News for complete coverage of the mine accident on air, online, and on your mobile device.